Well, good day, everybody. Hello. Neil here. Okay, um, today I'm off to home of 12 volt. I'm going to go get myself a Heller DIN socket for here and get that wired up at some point. I've got um, got some jobs to do. Um, I've got this adventure ride coming up at the end of the month. I'm just slowly building the bike up to where I want it to be. Now, home of 12 volt, I have two shops. They're predominantly a uh, two shops in South Australia. They're predominantly a um, caravan camping. 4x4 four four type people, but they do all that um, camping stuff, which is very popular in Australia, and electrical stuff, but of course it'll transfer across. Now they've got two shops, as I said, in SA. One of them's in the city, which will take me about 25 minutes to get to, another one's 30 k's away in Mount Barker, which is a different another country town and uh, far better roads to go to isn't it look at this this is 30 k's away as opposed to 10 k's however which way would you go <laughs> love it out here it's so nice so let's have a ride this is green hill road my house is literally on the doorstep of this little climb up into the hills now of course we've got concealed driveways we've got cyclists as well which are very popular up here it's a good bit of a training session so you and i'm watching all the way up i'm getting clues of course don't want to be leaning across into other traffic it's the first time i've been up here on this bike in fact i've hardly, hardly ever ridden up here and i, and I should i can I'm do it a lot more now and just get get used to this bike get the tires warmed up a little bit as I say I want to just set off but I don't think it's that um to watch there's no cyclist that's why I didn't cut really tight to the bend there you just can't afford to go up the ass of a, 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 a cyclist and we do get them a lot up here it's a great training session for them people get frustrated at cyclists they're my two-wheeled friends additionally I ride a mountain bike as well but that's another thing so yeah, um, beautiful road, stunning scenery, and uh, I'll look at have this on my doorstep, really is nice. Ooh, well that's some of that. Splendid. Cutting it short there, it's a good, good view through. You can see the chevrons, watch for the cars and driveways and stuff, but we're okay. Okay, look at the crap on the road here, we'll keep to the left. Cut across here, round the left hand bend, keep out to the right, gives you a good view through the bend. You see the road's going down to the right in a minute. And we'll drop a couple of gears here, nice and smooth. Good view through the bend there. Car coming, we'll keep to the left here. Look through the bends up there, we'll go to the middle of the road now. Slightly the eagle has tipped over the white line. Right here, car coming the other way, now I'll straight line it here. And then keep left. Love this nice long suspension travel. See the arrows to the left to right, right to left even. Now here. for cyclists not cut it in too early beautiful it's all about smooth lines isn't it beautiful day not going too hard just enjoying it brake lights a little bit of a built up area this is called Green Hill this is the town a little, little, little hamlet called Green Hill an 80s home, but I just like to show a bit of respect when you go through these little places and we're back on again. Now, do you remember my um, little video called Watch Out for Cockheads? These are the roads where you've got to watch out for cockheads, you get people overtaking in stupid places, so you've got to watch for that. 
So yeah, you've got to watch for people overtaking stupid places. People get a bit impatient. I've got. I don't really need to watch that, and I'm not doing. I've got it shaping in me here, which is quite good. Right, car coming the other way, and a nice sharp, I, don't, I know this bend, it's quite a sharp left to right around this bend here, so we'll, we'll get out of here. I say sharp, it's a cracking bend, is this? Lovely, we'll keep it tight now, because I know I'm going into a right hander. Just watch for the debris in there, and you get a good view for the road. Straight, straight line, this little bit of a twist here. Oh, which way to go? Yeah, I will, I'll do as I'm told. Mainly because these cars in front are going straight on. I'll brow there, just make sure there's nothing coming. Looking at the junction. Of course, we've got the Australian fauna. Kangaroos and koalas saw an echidna the other day. For you uh, English, that would be like a rather large hedgehog. In its appearance. Um, beautiful thing, I'll put a picture up. Another car up front. So we won't race around this corner. And now we can see him. And another one. Bit, bit of a bimble now. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that opening Greenland Road. As I say, I'm going to get to home at 12 and get some accessories I'll show you what I've got later and where it's going and of course oh no before I finish today I will also tell you why I'm getting this 12 volt socket um, I mean there's a gap there's a gap for it and I was always going to get one but I need it to power my compressor which is under my seat I've got the Dyna plug one and I, and I have to say a big shout out to Revzilla on this one um, I ordered it on the 3rd of February now, considering I'm in Adelaide, it was dispatched on the 4th of Feb from North Las Vegas, Nevada. It was on my doorstep before 9am on the 8th of Feb. That service, my God, that's good. Um, the product looks great, if not, dare I say, usable. It isn't. It is not supplied with, a, with an actual battery connector of any sort. My own fault, I didn't read what's in the box. It didn't have the connectors for the battery, the 12 volt plug. It has a lead and you then go off to home of 12 volt and fit your own lead, which is what I'm doing. I'll show you it later on. Right, I hope you're enjoying this lovely scenery. If I spot anything like koalas, I'll stop and I'll give you um, a bit of a view, which will be rather nice.